Hey guys, here we are again. Yeah, this is the video all about uh, head and following seas. Yes. Rock and roll. So at the moment we're on a, a three b force um, head sea and a head sea is when you're going directly towards the waves like this so the waves are coming towards us and this is what we call a head sea a following sea is when we're going that way with the waves and I'll show you that shortly um, one thing that's important about this uh, particular head sea is um, what's important is that the bow of the boat or of your boat needs to be above what we call the bow wave and the bow wave is the wave that the bow hits so I'm just trying to show you as best as I can so what I've done, I've actually lifted my engine, tilted it up to bring the bow up above the bow wave, okay? Now if I tilt it down, using the tilt button, all the way down, I was on a number 10, now I'm on zero, you'll notice a lot more splashing when we get a decent wave coming in. Now the bow is directly pointing downwards which is okay as it is at the moment but you'll see start seeing some waves uh, some splashes and so the, the boat is now um, crashing into the waves as opposed to riding above them so what's important is you lift the bow with using the tilt button as I've explained in a, a couple of other videos use the tilt button just to raise the bow enough in this particular case it's on my monitor engine trim uh, monitor it's to a number 12 and now you'll notice that I'm raised above the bow wave and that's what you want for a smoother ride I'm not planing I'm just cruising at the moment but also you can see the white uh, crests they are called well in the boating game they're called white horses the more white horses there are the choppier the seas are so that just gives you an indication visually of what's what okay now a following sea is I'm going to turn the boat all the way around just briefly because we are heading to a destination but I want to show you the following sea now and I'll also see you a side on sea which is quite a dangerous one now now you can see the sea following us okay so it's in front of us and there is a video that uh, I explained how to deal with the following sea and the important thing is to stay on the crest of the of the of the following sea not go over it because if you do then you'll go crash down into the next following wave so just keep on top of the crest and nice and steadily uh, and uh, you, you'll overcome that that situation now the next thing you can see the waves going that way it's all going that way you see so that's called a following sea now I'm going to show you something that's quite dangerous it's something that not to do really but I'm going to show you for demonstration purposes 
and that's where we get a side on and what you'll find is that the boat will then start rocking like this this is where on larger ferries and things like that it's where you get your seasickness from okay so I'm going to turn it onto the side on so the boat will be side onto the wave you'll see what I mean in a minute and the boat will rock unfortunately not rock musically just rock physically emotionally here we go now now on on a side wave so now you can see that the waves see the boats rocking now I'm gonna go purposely onto a side wave so you can see now the only time you need to be on a side wave like this is when you need to turn and that's where your bit of skill comes in handy to learn when to turn and when not to you see how the boats uh, rocking now okay so that's because if I kill the engine for a minute or certainly turn it down slow it down you'll see the boats now the waves are on to us and it will rock the boat like that you see so there we go so hopefully that's just explained very briefly what to, there we are look at that see so the waves are on side onto the boat and unfortunately I don't quite know why but unfortunately if you to turn the engine off irrelevant of what if you're going towards the sea the waves or if you're going on a following wave the boat will always turn side onto the wave which is a right pain in the ass um, especially if you're having a cup of tea and a nice breakfast and something like that so but there you are there's your your uh, side on waves and you'll notice the boats rocking about like this see and that's when you can see what I mean and that's when you can really tip over so try and avoid a side on wave unless you need to turn and then just turn very very carefully uh, when you're doing that all right keep subscribing it's fantastic got uh, over a hundred thousand views now so thank you so much for all that it really do appreciate it, it really do and uh, great to hear from you guys so if you've got any questions or any comments and um, don't forget to place a like why don't you even subscribe it's great to hear from you I've got 170 subscribers now which I know is not a lot compared to most but uh, it's, uh, it's it's great all the same so I'm really pleased with that so anyway keep in touch with the boating and uh, enjoy it all right all the best rock and roll <laughs>